This is a demonstration of the new 7x transfer feature. Although the ability to transfer parts into the assembly designer has always been available, we're proud to announce our new and improved process which is sure to meet and even surpass the expectations of our customers. When transferring a part, you can choose from three axes to rotate or mirror the part around, in addition to changing the coupler where the cursor will be anchored to, and you can also place pick points on or around the part to set the coupler onto that point. Starting with only two pick points 32 inches apart within the assembly designer, we'll show you how simple and effortless it is to place new parts here and assemble a project. We have some previously created parts here just to show you how to bring them all into our assembly. First, we'll start with a four bend hoop created in our template designer. All you have to do is go up to the transfer drop down menu on the icon menu bar and select the assembly you plan to work with. Then our transfer window appears where we can position our part any way that we want before sending it into the assembly. To rotate it, first select the axis button and the axes you want the part to rotate around. As you can see, the part will rotate in 90 degree increments by default. You can change the increment degree by entering it in the rotation amount field here. Now the part needs an anchor point or what we call a coupler. This will be a connector point and will attach to a point in the assembly. We can select the line tab and draw an imaginary line in between the two legs. Place a point in the middle of the legs using the split in half button. We can now move the coupler to this point and select OK to send it out. Back in the assembly designer, we can choose to have the part immediately placed in the display area or we can decide to place it manually at a later time. When you place the part manually, all you need to do is select one pick point in the display. The part will remain linked to your cursor so you can paste the part multiple times if you want. Now transferring our other hoop is just as simple as the first. Go to the transfer menu and choose the existing assembly we've been working with. We just rotate the part around the selected axis, create a location for the coupler to be placed, then place it and send the part out. Back in the assembly designer, we can place this part on the other pick point. Now we can take our third template part, which was made to connect our two hoops, and we can start to transfer that as well. After rotating the part to the direction that we want, we don't have to change the coupler because it is already based at the center of the TriStar by default. Select the OK button and place it in the assembly designer. Place two copies on the inside tangents of the rear hoop. These points are identified by the yellow pick points. We can even transfer an MSP sheet metal template into the assembly in the same way. Once we rotate the MSP part, the coupler can be placed on many points including the center of the part's bottom arc. Then, back in the assembly, we can place these tabs multiple times anywhere we'd like. As you can see, the transferring process has really come a long way, and we hope this makes the process of assembling parts effortless and time-saving to our users. Thank you for watching, and make sure to look out for more informational videos on our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook for updates on new features.